I loved it. I what did won. you think? You did win. You did win. Congratulations. Um, you got this, the most bananas. I got the most bananas. <laughs> hey, welcome to Table Nights. I'm Doolin. I'm Emily. And this is... Nerdjo. <laughs> hey, buddy. Today, we have a video showcasing some of the games that we've just been playing recently and some of the games that we've loved and some of the games that we've been sent, even. So, uh, we're, without further ado, we're just going to get started with the very first game. Our very first game is Garden Guest by Van Ryder Games, and this game was sent to us, but we weren't paid, so we got can give our honest opinions on this. And we played this with my family yep. on New Year's, mm -hmm. and uh, who won, Emily? If you mind, mind us. We did. We did. We did. We did. We played well. We played well, and my sister was not happy at all Quite about upset. that. She was very upset, especially when we actually made the rules the correct way. Uh, but we won the correct way. And uh, what did you think of Garden Guests, Emily? Um, I liked it. I think it's very cute. I think the theme is super fun. Like, you're in this little garden, and each pair of people is playing as these little bugs, these little critters, <laughs> and you're trying to, like, build your little path to the other side of the garden. Yeah. In case you don't know what Garden Guests is, it the board is kind of shaped like uh, if you've ever played Chinese checkers, where there's, like, the hexagon around the board, was a, which is actually, I think, a good comparison, because yeah. uh, in that game, you're also just trying to make it across the board, and in this one... You're doing the same thing, but you're also blocking the path of everyone else. And so when one team successfully gets from one side to the other, it means that no other team can also do that. This sounds weird, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that space hop moment was amazing. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of uh, Ticket to Ride. Oh, yeah. And a Absolutely. Li a little bit. Absolutely. Where like, you're collecting the cards, uh, you're playing the cards to build these paths. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But like you're on teams and you're trying to make it all the way across the board instead of having like certain cities that you're trying to reach. Mm. And that's Garden Guest. Uh, very different mm -hmm. from Final Girl or even uh, The Dark Quarter, which is another game I know they're known for. Very, very different. They're kind of showing that they, they aren't just this like dark scary game this is very cute it's very bright it's very pretty Are we so gonna show it oh, yeah sure you can show it off we got it. we got it right here yeah we got it right here we should have held it up the whole time that's it's my bad so pretty and cute <laughs> i like the little flowers and the little bugs <laughs> you held the mic up for that i'm sorry <laughs> all right Next up, we are going to go with, what should we go? Emily, grab the, the next game. Grab it and show it to the crew. I love the color scheme on this. I do too. It is so nice. I know. Um, this game is by Bytewing Games, which is actually, it's it's another game that we've been sent. We did not get paid to, to do coverage on it, but uh, we can give our honest opinions. And honestly, one of my favorite party games of yeah. last year. Yeah. I love this. I do too. We played this again with my family, but yeah. I've also played this with Max, Kenny, and Jash, and both groups, regardless regardless of how different they are, which they are very different groups, loved it, mm -hmm. thought it was a blast, and I, I, I left thinking that it might have been even better at six players mm -hmm. than it was when I played with only four players. I loved it. I what did won. you think? You did win. You did win. Congratulations. Um, you got this, the most bananas. I got the most bananas. <laughs> this one, um, I think is so fun because you don't know what you have in your hand mm -hmm. and you're trying to turn it around to the other people at the table and you're trying to exchange with them. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like... Just kind of, pure negotiation. Yeah, you're trying to look at what other people have and you know what you need. And so you're trying to like convince them that they need to trade with you mm -hmm. but maybe you could be trading something that's really good you yeah. don't know or maybe pe your t your other people playing are trying to trick you into thinking oh i should just keep this card because i have something really mm -hmm. good but in reality you could have something really crappy yeah and they trick you into keeping it it's really f i've never really played a any game like this yeah I don't me think. either but um i really liked it it's super fun and yeah, I, I do think it's really cute. Just a theme with the bananas and the gorillas. It's funny. It's um, it's very quick. Yeah. Very very fast paced game. 
and um, it, it, it actually is played in rounds, and the rounds mm-hmm. are even faster than the game, yeah. where it's the first player to win two rounds, which... Two bananas. Yeah, it's just two bananas. At six players, it's the top two players of each mm-hmm. round get a banana, and so we ended, I think, in three rounds. Mm-hmm. I think in three rounds. And uh, like Emily said, you are you got this hand of cards, and each card has a point value on it, mm-hmm. um, and each card you can only have one time. If you get them twice, they cancel each other out, unless you have a card to, of course, separate them. But uh, there's even negative cards, yeah. which you can positive if you have the right things. And I think <laughs> what you're explaining is really, really fun because you can trade with people or you can keep your card, which is an in- like probably my favorite part of it because I convinced my brother-in-law <laughs> to, to keep another, like I think he had three negative 12s because every time he had one, I was just like, oh, Tucker, I think you need that. And then by the third one, he put it down and he, go, he looked at me and he goes, I hate you. <laughs> I was trying to get a, a big, like a 10 pointer from him, which is a lot. I was trying to get that. And I had one that would make it not cancel out. That would make them both mm-hmm. positive. And he was like, well, I'll sweeten the deal. I'll put in another card and it ended up being another 10. So it gave me 20 points. It's a lot of points. And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll trade. <laughs> but he thought he was like... He thought he, he was getting a deal from you. He did, but he didn't realize that he was doing me a huge favor. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. Yeah. yeah. It's there's, a fun game. There's a game mode we haven't played that uh, my family agreed next time we are all together, we will play it that way, which is the you have to play like apes mode <laughs> where everyone can only uh, grunt like gorillas the entire <laughs> round. You're not allowed to actually <laughs> say anything. You just like, uh, 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 like type of thing. And I think that sounds amazing. Uh, I love it. Um, it is not too light. It's like still like competitive enough that like heavier gamers can get really into it. Yeah. But it's very easy to teach. Like within Agreed. seconds, I think we were playing. Agreed. And just a great game overall. Gussie Gorillas Gussie by Bitewing Greens. <laughs> and a very funny title. I think my family renamed it Gassy Gorillas, yep. um, which I thought was really funny. It sounds better. <laughs> Third game uh, we're going to go with is actually another game we were sent, but not no. before Emily purchased oh. it for me for Christmas. They were really nice enough to send it to us after, and even after we played it. Yep. So for the first time ever, Table Knots was sent a game that they would like us to talk about that we had already played. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. what was really cool is that they actually sent us the upgraded components. Mm-hmm. We haven't played with those yet, so we nope. don't have we, ha- we can't comment on it. But Sale is a trick-taking, quiet game. Cooperative game. game. Cooperative game. Yes, where we're not allowed to talk to each other in the rounds. We can plan out our turns kind Mm -hmm. of beforehand, but we can't tell each other what we have. Mm -hmm. And um, we are trying to play cards in order to win tricks, to move a boat across a map and avoid a Kraken that is trying to destroy us before we Mm -hmm. get to our destination. Yes. Um, This is a very thematic game, very cute. Very cute. Um, um, and also very difficult. And very small. Very small. What do you think of this game, Emily? I really <laughs> liked it. I thought it was kind of crunchy. I thought it was kind of hard. Like, we played it the first time out. We immediately wanted to play it again because we, I think we won, but I think we almost lost. Oh, yeah. And it, and it was, was like the first scenario. Yep. And we were like, well, we got to practice this a little bit, mm-hmm. get a little better. But yeah, the not being able to communicate during the round is tricky mm-hmm. but um trick I, <laughs> I see what you did sorry but I, I thought it was fun though <laughs> i i like sale uh i like the art in it it's very mm-hmm. pretty and cute and yeah i i like oh man i love that there are unique mm-hmm. trick taking games coming out because yes. there's this um, where you're like playing cards, not to, just to win tricks, but to move a boat across a map. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Cat in the Box, mm-hmm. which is very yeah. unique. Um, and then there's also Inside Job, which we've oh, yeah. played, That's which is like social deduction yeah. trick taking. Um, and so like, actually, there's... I thought about that when we were about to talk about this. I yeah, about like that one. oh man, just so many good trick taking games that yes. are coming out that aren't just normal trick-taking games. Like, they have a twist, right? Um, but still, great game. We highly recommend all play games made this. We played another one recently by them called Pollen that I liked. Yeah. Uh, has best soluble art on it. Uh-huh. And it was really, really cute. Um, but anyway, Sale, we recommend. Good game. Okay, next. 
Another tiny one. Another one that Josh got. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doolin got for Christmas. Um, I from who? Uh, from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, from Santa Claus. <laughs> it was in his stocking. This one is called Fika. Fika. And um, when we got it, we looked up the theme. So the fika, the word Fika. I'm gonna butcher this. The word Fika. It um, it's a it's from Sweden, right? I think Sweden, yeah. Okay, and apparently we looked it up. Fika is like a coffee break that people in Sweden take every day at work with their coworkers in the afternoon. They take time, they have coffee, they chat with each other, and they just hang out. And I think that's beautiful. It's awesome. And I, would, I wish I wish that we, we had did that. Fika. It's very pretty. It's called the Clever Coffee Break, and basically what you're trying to do, you have cards. Mm. Um, we played against each other. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, over the course of five turns, play out cards that um, aren't build, they're building on each other, but they all have unique ways of scoring. Mm -hmm. And so each will score in a different way, and that's how you get your points at the end of the round. It's mm -hmm. not like I'm trying to beat her at this location. It's, I'm just trying to fulfill yeah. all of my things. Yeah. And you can play things, it's very mean. Because you can play things that move my cards around, yes. and I can play things that move your cards around. Yes. There's even cards that allow us to switch our cards, and that's really mean. And yes. I've, I haven't told you this, but it's on BGA, and I've Is been it? playing it on BGA, really? and people are real really mean. mean. <laughs> Holy cow. It, really? it can be, like, if you are into mean, like, uh, interactive games, Fika, don't let the cuteness of the box deceive you. It is cutthroat and so you can cute. end her <laughs> with the little coffee and the little pie yes but it Doesn't is look me oh if you're in for some coffee and some cutthroat action fika is your game and i actually really like this for me i like the two player thing too because um we do play a lot together at mm -hmm. two players and so this is a good game for us i should have said that too sale is only two player as yes. well so if you're looking for like good just couples two mm -hmm. player games these are these are good yeah, ones for sure all right Okay. We have one more. Is it vegan? Oh, I should have said, Fika not sent to us. It was the one game out of our five yes. that was not sent to us. We just I wanted to talk it. about it because we like it. Last game. Last one. Is a game that we were sent as well. And I've actually talked about it on it's the big. channel already, but we hadn't played it then. Now, we've played the, the entire thing. thing over multiple I'm sessions. Grab it. And it is called Dimensions, the pop up manner. I have some B roll that'll show off the insanity that <laughs> is the the mansion itself, but this is from the Mystery Package Company, which uh, we have covered before. Mm -hmm. we, we covered uh, a, ga a game called Body of Evidence yeah. from them, and that one was amazing. I, I remember opening up the cadaver box thing, and actually somebody messaged me, I think it was Logan in our Discord recently, was like, I got that game because of you guys, and me and my wife loved it. And so this one is, um, it's like that, but spooky? It's spooky, but it's also like a pop-up book. I don't really know how to explain it. When we first took it out of the box, okay, there's a mansion in a pop-up book mm -hmm. that you open up this huge thing and like tie it together and it's a whole house with like eight, eight different rooms, mm -hmm. nine different rooms, I guess, and you spin mm -hmm. it around and do puzzles inside each room. Mm -hmm. And it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, like, it, was, it was like a... I did not expect it to be the way that it was. It's like an escape room it's game, really cool. but the like your monsters outside of the room yeah. doing the stuff. And it's not just that. So if like that automatically just threw you off, just like some of our favorite uh, escape room style games or mystery mm -hmm. style games, there's going to be these folders with all of the information yes. and the puzzles themselves and like um, actual like real size uh, yeah. papers and stuff that you will be reading and getting more information from that will make you feel a little bit more involved in the world. And what's cool is like, it's played over five sessions and mm -hmm. each session is themed around a different type of investigator that came to the mansion and mysteriously vanished. And it's their information and their um, evidence that they've put together that you have to look through. I will say that as far as the puzzles themselves go, some of them made us feel really smart. Like we, yeah. they were really creative. They really were. And when we found the solution, we felt really, really good about it. Yeah. Um, this is not the kind of game that 
you will get all the way to the end and have to make this wild guess. And if you're wrong, no. then you're out. No. There's actually a wheel that you can test all of your answers on. And anytime you're wrong, you just keep going. Exactly. And so that's I, really nice. I like that part a lot mm -hmm. because a lot of games like this are not like that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. It's like a one and done. You try it, you get it wrong. And oh, so sad. Tough tacos. Yeah. Which we've, we have our own creative way of trying to get around that. Yeah. But this game does it by itself. And um, I like that. I do too. So another thing for me, I think, was each like dossier, each folder full of the evidence and the clues. Personally, I thought they were like perfectly chunked, like sized really well. Like it's mm. just a little bite size, um, you know, takes about an hour to yeah. complete. You know, it never felt like, oh, this is taking forever mm -hmm. or... Um, oh, this was too short. I didn't feel like I got my, I don't know. I just thought they were really well, like sized. Yeah. And got out and what yeah. Like, chunk. And there's a hint book yes. as well. So like if we ever got stuck, we could, we check. would just check that and it wouldn't just straight up give us the answer. It but will it point us in the right direction. Kind of like a breakout room yeah. if you've yeah, ever like, that. Like the game master at a breakout room. Exactly. Do you mention? I took all of your, your pieces. I'm sorry, I completely defaced your game. Um, but we made a cool oh, little done. memory of the game. So now we can always remember dimensions and our time with it. So cute. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. But yeah, that, that was our fifth and final game that we wanted to talk mm -hmm. about. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and any of these games inter interested you, let us know down in the comments. And on top of that, we, we, I mean, we got sent the game from most of these guys, so we could probably point you in the right direction on how to get the game yourself. For sure. Yeah. So, Emily, you have anything else you want to say? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.